Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Doherty Dozen and welcome to my garage food storage area. Today we are putting groceries away, but first, coffee. This was a, oh, this is two hauls this week that we need to put away. I know, it's a little overwhelming. Uh, James and I went to Costco, bottled waters I can't currently do because of my shoulder issue. And then I went to Walmart last night that was posted in a separate vlog and that's all the Walmart stuff as well. So I did the math and we are about to put away $2,297.81 worth of groceries. That was the Costco receipt and here are the two Walmart transactions. Now I got all the like fridge perishable stuff put away last night, but we still got a still got a we still got a lot to do. Let's go. Okay, so the kids were on spring break and when the kids are home, like 24 seven, I don't get to like my normal daily cleanup that I would do if they were all in school. Um, so it's kind of gonna also be like a pantry cleanup and consolidate. So like I do things like, why are there two open boxes of fruit snacks? Oh no, why do we do that? So we're gonna consolidate. Also, we have Zoe's birthday party and birthday this week. So like some of this stuff is for that. Like this is gonna go inside. And I got a bunch of laundry detergent. So we're gonna take that down to the laundry room. bread shelf in our kitchen it recently broke currently I'm keeping the bread in the garage um in the summer I'm not gonna be able to do that so like our garage has vents and stuff it's got air it's got heat but like in the hot 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 summer days I don't think the bread I'm gonna have to find a different spot for it basically I've been keeping it in here I've been keeping like one loaf on top of the microwave so the kids can like grab it if they want to make a sandwich Cookies are for Zoe's party. Um, so these are going to go inside. She's having a solar eclipse themed birthday party during the solar eclipse.
stuff all go right here. So let's do that. I'm gonna move my packets back inside to the inside pantry. Like dip packets. Right. Zoe said this looked disgusting and refused to try it. Hopefully someone eats it. I had stuff in the cubes. I forgot about these. And my family's out front having a fire. That's been our entire weekend. This, I feel like, has been here forever. Yes, it has. And I know I bought more super now. This is for Friday, grilled cheese day. So let's put that right there for now. Hmm. Where's the rest of the soup? taco shells away.
They're like soy sauces in the wrong spot. <gasps> Hidden olives. Hidden olives can come out into the out now. They are good until September 2026. Soy sauce will go there. Right, this is like taco-ish. That's not a word. Taco stuff. Condiments. Go through a lot of ketchup in this house. Like, I know this looks like a lot, but this will last two weeks. Josh wanted these. I'm going to put these in the inside fridge. Pickle chips. I didn't do my hair today and now it's driving me nuts. These are yesterday's curls. I might just throw it in a ponytail. This will go in the fridge and because we're having cheeseburgers this week and then the peanut butter and Nutella and jelly I keep in the inside pantry so like anything that's gonna go in the inside storage I just kind of like set by the door from the garage to go in after I do this who like breaks down your bags and like neatly puts them away or do you just shove them in a crumpled ball more stuff over there I think that's laundry and Alex's hangers so we'll bring those downstairs after and then I can show you the bead thing I was talking about in my shopping vlog that we put the scent beads in James was really good at keeping it restocked <laughs> so it's usually already stocked but we're out of the purple ones I'm just gonna start a bag. So these are baking mixes. Baking stuff goes inside. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna put this random marmalade inside. I don't know why I ended up out here. I feel like I could do something good with that orange marmalade. are going to go inside. Yeah, my hair's going off. This hair is driving me nuts. I have days where like sensory. I just, my hair just drives me nuts. Like just, I can't explain it. Um, so now I look like a 10 year old. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Eclipse gum is for Zoe's party. Starburst are for Zoe's party. more stuff we'll use today because like I said they're doing a fire right now I 
Nice tomatoes. I don't need until Wednesday. I'm using all this barbecue sauce Thursday. What's up? Uh, butter sauce. Butter! I forgot to get butter! Okay. Dang it! Wait, wait a minute. I forgot I got fancy butter. Let's see if this will work. There you go. Anyways, I keep fresh fruit in bowls around the kitchen dining room area all the time. Oh, that's where the bread shelf fell out. We gotta fill those holes in. It's just a constant to-do list here. Anyways. Some fresh fruit in a bowl. Got these on Amazon. They're like plastic. So if they break, it doesn't matter. Someday we'll be fancy enough for glass fruit bowls around here. Not so bad. All right, back in the garage. Soups, although I know there's more soup than that. Oh, here it is. Soups are good. Let's see what's going on up here. A nearly empty box of kind bars. So since Dejan's the only one who eats these, I'm just gonna put them in his room, in his mini fridge. Always with the empty boxes. Why did they do that to me? Good. Um, cereal bars are good a really long time. This is good for like another year. Kind of gross when you think about it. Why is it good for so long? So Harley eats it. These I have been eating. Oh my gosh. They are so good. And they don't have wheat. They have whole grain oats. I've been eating these. So good. Frosting can go inside in the baking cabinet. I don't know why these got plucked out here. Probably didn't feel like bringing them inside one day. And then I forget I have it because it's like not where it's supposed to be. Hey! Cereal bars, good. Soups, good. Alright. 
a for Zara's birthday party. Did I break into them and have one? Yes, yes I did. Okay, so I already know someone's gonna ask, why do you have so much food? Why do you go shopping every week when you have food already? This started right before, well, we always had, I always made sure I had like a, an extra. So like say we ran out of ketchup, I had a ketchup in the pantry, etc. Right before the pandemic, when they were like, stock up on food, I did a little bit. We had, I probably have a picture of it somewhere. Um, we weren't on social media yet. And during the pandemic, it was so hard to get food for my fam large family that like Josh and I would split up every day and go to different stores just to get like enough pieces of chicken for one meal because there was a limit of one which had a, like a four pack of chicken right so like we scrambled and hustled to get groceries and the kids in our house like over half of them came from situations where they didn't have enough food and it like triggered their food insecurity like I will never forget I'll never forget it just like crying they were just crying because it triggered their food insecurity that we didn't have enough food and I was like never again never again will I allow that to happen so Papa helped me create this and my children never have to worry about food insecurity. See, like why do I have barbecue sauce down here, but I have barbecue sauce up there? I didn't know there was barbecue sauce down here. Some weeks I don't put the stuff away and like the system doesn't get followed. And then, yeah, stuff gets put away, not in the spot that Nana and I designated it to get put away. Oh, I can tell James we have sardines. He's been wanting sardines. But we were at Costco. He's like, can I get sardines? I'm like, I don't really think we should get like a Costco sardines. Costco's good for some things, but like... Other things, you don't really need a Costco supply of it. Should I put teriyaki sauce up with the Asian sauces? No, I'm going to keep it with the dressing from Marinese. Okay. I don't really know where to put bacon bits. It looked like one of my kids opened this to eat it, but then changed their mind when they realized it was just a brick of Velveeta. There's a random fruit snack. Oh, that's yummy. All right, then we have oatmeal, mac and cheese. I also have some chicken noodle. This stuff's good till 2025. This I had bought on bulk from Amazon. Amazon has like everything in bulk that you could ever imagine. Just type something and put in bulk. Boof. Anyway. I know. Okay, so mac and cheeses. So we've got the cup of mac and cheeses that the kids like to grab, which we're pretty well stocked on. But we are out of the we were out of the boxes of mac and cheese. Uh, these. If all my kids are home and I make this as like a side dish, just like quick meal, six boxes for one meal. That's why I buy so much of it. That's why I try and make homemade mac and cheese. one more 
something. Here we have tomato products. It's like two different brands, so they don't want to stack. Wait, here we go. Here we go.
products, good. Pastas are good. Condiments we did. Uh, beans are good enough up there. to restock like our canned uh, fruits. Okay, let me show you. Like empty. we've got cranberry, peaches, oranges, pineapple, pears, yams, some like pie fillings, raisins, coffee, the apples I'm going to bring inside, wash up, put in the fruit bowls. Let's check out the canned veggie situation that I've dropped in. Chestnuts, carrots, green beans, peas, whole kernel corn, cream corn. Parts and ice cream cone. Okay. Um, good, good. Juice boxes are fine. The juice is good enough. of thermoses can go somewhere else. All right, Deshaun's gonna try and organize the waters. I can't do that.
Can bring all this to the laundry room, please. First kid who says I'm bored.
All right, so this is all the water will go through in a month. You keep it down here. I know, it looks like a lot, but that will be empty in a month. And then Gatorade's down here. I'm trying to show you, but yeah. And two mittens, I don't know. Anyways, Gatorade here and now we keep doing the rest see he just did that in like two seconds so it would have taken me an hour i'm gonna keep working on consolidating the snacks got all the chips for the month um i'm gonna donate these kids don't like these These I'm going to stick them in the freezer for one of those nights where I don't have any pizza crust. The kids loved those crusts, by the way. They were a hit. for weeks i got these at the dollar store i just like don't get out that way all the time anymore anyways uh i got one for the orange cups i got one for the fruit cups and then i want to get two more so i have one for the peach cups and one for the applesauce cups maybe i'll get three more so then i have one for the applesauce pouches all right josh is taking the kids fishing i gotta go I gotta go, like, make sure that, they, like, little kids, like, did you go to the bathroom? Do you, that kind of stuff. Be right back. All right. They are getting ready to go. You might hear them through the garage door. Okay, hang on.
10 more minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna vlog it? Yeah. You want to? Yes. to get some stuff inside because we're like blocking this path right here all right this is my laundry room it's not fancy all right but it works for us anyways jason brought down all of the laundry detergents we've got stacked up over there i'm going to refill the arm and hammer one um this was the thing i was telling you about so we put the arm and hammer one over here i got this on amazon we've got the gain ones over here together her toddler bed the kids all went fishing with Josh Harley stayed here and uh, yeah it's not happening we got it out and I'm like it'll be a project later I gotta get the groceries put away I don't know why I thought it was gonna be like something quick okay this is just a twins comforter so I'm putting it right back on their bed so I'm not even gonna fold it right now Prince blanket.
back in the garage. Is there a random glove up here? Just why? Let me just set these out this week. Pancake mix, waffle mix.
almost there. I know. It was a lot this week. It is not normally like this much, but like I said, kind of fell off there for a bit. in my front yard um okay i'm gonna bring this rest of this stuff outside and we'll go organize in there i gotta find somewhere else to put my crock pots Just going inside. vacuum in here once I get all this inside. All right, right in from our garage is the original food storage pantry. Clearly, we outgrew. But, I know it doesn't look like it, but I recently went through these bins like a week ago. Yep, yep. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to guess that most of these cereals are empty or have like one piece left in them because I've not gone through them in a while.
Okay, so it's trash. There's like a couple pieces left. boxes of the same cereal. Alright, so these ones I'm putting in the back level. Saving this little bit of cinnamon toast crunch in case someone really wants it before I buy more. I have gravy packets out there that I needed to consolidate with the indoor gravy packets. I do this every week. Okay. Oh, 
don't know how long those have been right there. Okay, I'm gonna vacuum. And then I'll show you everything. Fill the fruit bowls on the table. What's up, Harley? All right, I vacuumed out this pantry. Looking good, looking good. And here is the garage I vacuumed. Okay, we are stocked. We've got the Velveeta, the soups, the cereal bars, the chip overflow up there, the beans, the condiments, taco stuff, pasta sauce, juices, canned veggies, canned fruits. I need to get more uh, corn. And then muffin bites, more juice. Then we got like crackers, cup of noodles, and bread. I ended up putting crack pots there. And that's just like paper products. And then Deshaun put the bottled waters away and organized the Gatorades on the ground. Got some chips there. Those are donations of clothes I need to drop off, but they'll just sit there a little longer. All right, then over to the spare fridges. This is mostly like the meat fridge plus cheese. Biscuits, I don't know, random. This is the yogurt fridge plus eggs. We've got all the creamers in the door. This is our deep freezer. Um, okay, those Uncrustables, somebody put in upside down, so that's going to drive me nuts. And I love the door storage of this. And then this is the produce spare fridge. And that is it for restocking our food storage. Thank you for spending time with me. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time.